Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, welcome back, and welcome to this Pick a Pile reading. This is a partial card toss style reading, and we are doing the topic, what if you touched? Should you touch? What if you touched? So, we'll just see where the guides take us with this one. Um, your timestamps, as always, are found down below in the description. Please use those when you are ready to skip ahead to your reading. You'll find the disclaimer there as well. I'm going to move into option one now, so pause the video if you need some more time, and I'll see you at your reading. Okay. Option one. First card is a song, a music song here. You try to be cool, you look like a fool to me. Okay. We have the Nine of Swords, Desperation in Reverse Position. And the Devil card, Subjugation in Reverse Position. Alright, balance yourself, balance your energies. The Four of Hearts here, balance your heart. Steady your heart, your heart's racing or something. If you like, really crushing on this person, really into this person. Like, oh, what if I touch, touch their hand or something? What if we hold hands? The devil card reverse could be representing Capricorn energy for some of you. This <laughs> delusion, the seven of cups, please clarify, please clarify more music. Okay. So we have, how is it going to be when you don't know me anymore in reverse position? Okay. Um, Nine of Swords, Reverse, Desperation, Devil, Subjugation, Reverse, Delusion, Seven of Cups, right side up. This could be a situation where there's a lot of pent-up sexual energy and frustration. Um, maybe somebody's kinky, I don't know. There's either, it doesn't have to be that. Don't get me wrong here. This does, it doesn't have to be that energy. It's just one way to read this. Um, some of you, there's like a fantasy though. There's a fantasy here and there's this energy of neediness or desperation or desire, like really wanting to connect, be with, be with you in some way, um, touch you in some way. It feels like it's, it's about getting to know one another more because it's like, you don't know me yet. You don't know me yet. You don't really know me right now. The devil card can be like misunderstanding sometimes because it's like Mercury at his ultimate trickster level, the devil card. Um, and so it's reversed here with delusion, the seven of cups, and it feels like you have maybe these projections about me or ideas about me or you know me to a certain degree, but like we could reconnect is also one way to read this or you could get to know present me a little more if we reconnected if you gave me another chance if this is about making amends with somebody um or if you don't know me at all it's like give me a chance to let you get to know me a little more let's move to a next level let's bring in the senses with the four of hearts too it's like let's trust the body wisdom the senses the non-verbal communication and then portal doors are opening you decide rewards and wild card so there's this message ultimately whatever's going on know that this is up to you you can get another reading from somebody if you want uh, me or another tarot reader um like go deeper you have more questions things to explore within the seven of cups um and everything like do that but you decide so you decide to the meaning the outcome you know what i mean it's like it's what you make it to a degree um but there is this energy of opportunity here and it feels like for some of you we could break through some of the facades somebody could drop a mask you know what i mean you'd see a little more authenticity um and truth within each other um so that's what I've got coming through here. I, it also could be transformational with the portal. I don't know. That's what I've got coming through here with you, Pile One. I will go ahead and move into the next one. Much love, many blessings, and bye-bye. All right, 
pile two. Your first card is Chumbawamba, tub thumping. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Y'all might find yourselves drunk together. That's how you'd wind up touching. Um, or it's an aspect of it. The economy, eight of pentacles, the king of pentacles, motivation, write that up. For some of you, this is a work situation. This is maybe a coworker or there's some sort of connection here with money, finances, business, uh, job, involves your career. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. It could also be earth sign people. Six of Swords, Ascendancy, Ace of Cups, Immersion, Hermit card, Exaltation, Reverse Position, Tarot. <laughs> okay, well, I feel like a lot of you, there would be more Oracle or Tarot readings involved. Maybe you read yourself, or maybe you enjoy them, whatever the case is. They're saying that you would probably um, wind up getting more of those. Um, Ace of Cups, Immersion, Ascendancy, Six of Swords. Yeah, there would be new feelings new feelings would arise, or you become aware of new feelings. Um, some of you, it's like new, I don't want to say it's new love, but it could be. I just don't want to say it because it's not really clarifying um, that the Hermit card reverse exaltation. Yeah, it, it feels like new love though, even if it's, it could be platonic love, but there's this energy of love transfer. And it brings somebody out of hermit mode or isolation or solitude. Um, it's like a physical thing. We, we don't have to read too much into it. For some of you, that's the message. The King of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, it could be very platonic. It could be like shaking somebody's hand here. The Six of Swords, the Ascendancy though it's like healthy brain, healthy emotions, healthy mind. There's something grounding about this um, scenario. But if somebody's already told you don't touch them, don't friggin' touch them. Okay. Um, I will say that, seeing this, don't friggin' touch them. If they told you not to touch them, don't friggin' touch them. The Ascendancy card, Six of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, for the majority of you, this is providing good vibes about it and it's saying like your your thinking or their thinking is going to ascend with this there's an energetic transfer um the body is is like has an electrical network and it. it has a nerve system it's very complex and the hermit cards reverse here um yeah it feels like uplifting Okay, guys, it feels like uplifting and it feels like there's an energy transfer. So that's what I've got coming through. I will leave your reading here for this one. Many blessings to you. Bye, Pile 2. And hello, Pile 3. You have for your first card. Whatever you're looking for. Okay, don't come around here no more. Um, whatever you're looking for, don't come around here no more. It was reversed. So we'll get the other cards before I make assumptions about what that means. Destiny, equilibration. Some of you, though, the answer is no. It's like you're not meant to don't touch this person. You're not meant to touch this person. It's not in your destinies. Um, it, and if you do, you're going to get some some negativity thrown at you. It's going to be like, whoa, don't touch me or whatever. Whatever you're looking for, don't come around here anymore. No I don't want to see you anymore. That was inappropriate. Don't do it. Whatever you're thinking. But... <laughs> That's not necessarily everybody's story. That's not the only way to read these cards. And I haven't even got the card tossed uh, ones out yet for you. Um, somebody's name could be Destiny. That would be interesting if you want to leave a comment um, on that. That would be cool to read. Um, Virgo, Pisces, energy is on the table. For some of you, there's relevancy there. Earth, learning how to be human in the world but not of it. Showing up reverse. The Seven of Star Sisters, Birth and Creation, Tapestry of Life and Expression. Okay. Um, for some of you, it's like you. It, this would slow down time in a way or stop time. It would change your perspective of time and or their perspective of time. There is some sort of like spirit to spirit um, communication that would occur through co contact with the physical bodies. 
Earth and Creations Tapestry of Life and Expression with Earth to Learning How to Be Human in the World Not of It. The Suspension Card Inversion. Um, it's like pause, stop, um, stillness, or be feeling stuck in some way. Feeling stuck. So again, it's like mixed. Some of you, this feels like it would not be wanted. And some of you, it feels like if it is wanted, it's slowing down time and you guys are tapping into something a little bit more spiritual or it's like appreciating the expression. Okay, if it's a hug, you know, you're appreciating receiving that hug and what it feels like in giving um, the hug back. And it feels like with that storyline, there's a protective energy here. Like, whatever you're looking for. Don't come around here no more. It's like you maybe ward off some negative energy or bad vibes um, through this contact. Um, and or there's a deepening desire to protect or look out for one another or have each other's backs. So, okay, sera, sera, whatever is to be is to be the Destiny Equilibration card reversed, but... If you are in an imbalanced state, like you are extraordinarily intoxicated right now and you're listening to this reading, do not go pinch somebody's butt. The answer is no. Um, get your balance. Get your, witch about, your wits about you. Equilibration. Okay. Many blessings and bye-bye.